Hey guys, Sam Jordan here from Deacon Leather Co. Coming to you today from the back of my RV, which is why I look kind of crammed in a corner here, but got plenty of room for this project. What I'm gonna be showing you today is how I make a shell um, cordovan baseball. But this technique applies to any leather, so if you want to use like a vegetable tan leather that totally works and all of these techniques are applicable this is a really fun project i had a lot of fun learning how to do this probably about a month and a half maybe two months ago somebody reached out to me and asked if i'd be willing to make them a shell baseball for one of their friends and i said sure yeah absolutely no problem and i think i kind of underestimated how challenging it would be to make a baseball um so it took me couple of weeks of experimentation and kind of some head scratching to figure out a way that made a baseball that looked nice. It wasn't too hard to make a baseball, but it actually making the stitching look consistent and everything else takes a bit of technique. It's not really all that difficult once you have the pattern and once you have it sort of squared away in that regard, but it took me quite a while to get here. So I'm going to show you exactly kind of what I learned along the way. A lot of this I sort of came up with through trial and error and then some of the other techniques I sort of read online and everything like that but there really wasn't like a comprehensive guide that I found that produced a baseball that I was super happy with so I'm putting this together and maybe you guys can co can go out and make a baseball that you'll be you'll be happy with um holidays are coming up it'd be a great stocking stuffer here's the baseball that we're gonna be making in this video or that you're gonna watch me make. And this is a marbled Horween black shell cordovan. I show you exactly how to break it down like from a stock baseball that you get from the store and make your own. And uh, it works pretty good. So once again, you know, this isn't the only way to make a baseball. I'm sure that, you know, there's some other techniques out there that are probably really good as well. Um, one thing that I'd point you in the direction of is there's a great video on YouTube called How It's Made and the, the episode is a baseball and you can see how they make them in the factory because each one is actually hand stitched. So it's good to kind of like maybe take a look at that before you venture off onto your own because then you can see how they make them in the factory and that'll give you a good sense of what's going on. So if you, uh, if you make one, let me know. They're a lot of fun and I encourage you to give it a shot. All right, let's do it. I just want you guys to kind of take a look at the baseball because this is what we're trying to replicate. Okay, so this is kind of like our example of what we're trying to copy. Now pay close attention to the stitching. You'll notice that for the most part, it is very clean. And I'm gonna point out, it comes kind of like to a V where the threads meet. And that's what we're gonna try and replicate. There's actually two threads. Like this is like doubled up thread. Like, like that's one, two. I'm making the choice not to double my threads up. See, that's two threads right there. And I'll kind of explain why. Like, I just personally don't think that it looks all that great when you try and replicate it. They use special thread that we would typically not use for Leathercraft. Anyways, it'll still turn out really nice. And if you really want to do it double, double threaded, you can, it's no big deal. But one more thing to take note of, this is going to be your secret to success here. When you're creating your pattern or if you choose to buy my pattern this is what you're gonna get this is what makes it different is notice the stitch spacing of the holes okay we're using this baseball as our example here this is gonna be it's gonna give us all the clues that we need to replicate this and at first you might think that all right i'm gonna go and i'm going to make a whole bunch of holes equidistant all the way around the baseball and then everything's just going to work out great as long as I get them lined up. But no, that's actually not the case. And if you try and do that, your stitching's going to look terrible at the end. It's not going to look like this baseball. It's going to look like you didn't know what you were doing. And the reason for that is because if you look at this circle right here, okay, the inner radius of this circle is going to be smaller than the outer radius of this circle. Pay close attention these holes are closer together than these holes are. You can see it very clearly on the baseball. They are closer together. I promise you they are. And then there's a different stitch spacing as you get kind of like a little bit halfway up here. And then it is the furthest apart right here in the middle of the baseball. So compare like here to here are very different. Okay. That's what's going to give you 
the the look that you're trying to achieve once again if you make them all the same distance i mean you might get something that looks like a baseball and you know that's fine but like if you really want it to have like nice stitching and replicate this baseball then you're gonna need to do a little bit better job and put a little more thought into it with that said let's move on to taking this apart all right here we go we're gonna take this baseball apart and give us something to work with now what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to get a really, really, really sharp knife and jam it right in there as deep as you can to try and cut these threads. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the inner core called the pill and you're gonna put a big gash into it. I know because I did it like three times. So a better way to do it is to actually cut the threads right here, all the way around the baseball, just like that. Don't go too deep. Just cut the thread, take your time. This isn't gonna be a, a fast process. I'm kind of looking through the camera while I'm doing this. So I'm not doing a very good job here, but you're just cutting the thread itself, not all the way through the leather into the core. Otherwise you're gonna cut the core. And you'll see when, when we open it up, it's actually a, well, you won't see the cork, but you'll see a, basically what looks like a big ball of yarn that's kind of a little bit sticky. And what they do at the factory is they take a piece of leather and they get it wet and they run it through an adhesive, some kind of a glue, and they squeegee it out real good. Keep in mind, this leather is gonna be a lot stretchier than what we're gonna be working with. All right, so almost there, take your time. All right. Might have to do this a couple of times to kind of get it apart here. And just start working it just like that. Here we go, now look, this is called the pill. See, it looks like a ball of yarn. So what you're gonna wanna do is if you're, if you're trying to make your own pattern and take all these little fuzzy pieces out, if you're not gonna make your own pattern, then you don't need to put in that level of detail here. But take this all apart, get all this stuff out. There we go, there we go. Now if you run into this situation where literally the leather itself is being ripped off onto the baseball because maybe they put a little extra adhesive on there, just go ahead and clean it up as best you can. It'll be fine. As long as there isn't any lumps that you can feel when you take this all apart, you should be okay. All right, got it all cleaned up and ready to go. So this is the pill, okay? So now if you were gonna make your own pattern, what you'd wanna do is pull this all off, trace the actual shape of the, um, of the panel here, just like that. And then what I would suggest you do is you take some type of caliper, get some distance measurements of all of these different holes, and then go through and smooth out the edge. It'll probably work best, or it definitely will work best if you're able to do this up in like Adobe Illustrator or something like that, but you probably could get away with doing it by hand. Or like I said, if you don't want to spend a few hours doing that, then I will have a PDF available of the pattern that you can just download and save yourself the headache. But you know, it is fun to kind of make it yourself too, so no pressure, whatever you want to do. I made mine myself, but Honestly, if somebody else had one available, I probably would have skipped the headache. But truthfully, understanding the distance of the holes is all that there is to it. Once you figure that out, you're home free. All right, let's do it.
Maker da canto.
Well, so here's something that happens with Shell. Look at this. I was hardly even pulling on it, and this hole started to rip. Huge bummer. That means I need to take this whole panel off and throw it away and cut the thread and make a new one. All right, so here's what happened. Despite the fact that I knew this was a distinct possibility and it was something I was looking out for, it still ripped. What a huge bummer. So this whole panel is gonna go in the garbage. I mean, I was thinking about it and I was like, oh, maybe I could glue it. But no, the correct thing to do is to just throw it away and live and learn. All right, so I made another one. Here, we're gonna try it again. This is my brand new panel. Let's go.
And all right, so here's the finished baseball. So marble black, Horween, Shell Cordovan. Turned out pretty good. Shell's always going to have inherent challenges in it. You just can't pull it as tight as you can regular veg tan. It just, it really, you really got to be careful because it will rip. I don't know what it is about Shell, but yeah. So I want to show like one other example. Here's one other baseball that I've got that I made. And this one actually was able to be pulled a little bit tighter. But this is vegetable tanned, just sort of a, it's a non-shell leather. So you can pull it a little bit tighter and it's a little bit more, um, it's, it's a little less firm of temper, I guess. So it just tends to mold better to the, the inner core. So you're just gonna have to practice and kind of get your technique down, kind of pull it tight. So again, you can check this one out here. All right, go make some baseballs.